thiazolium cation this is a very important reagent for organic chemical synthesis and today in this video i will talk about the application of thiazolium cation in organic chemical synthesis now in csir net exam question may be asked from this particular topic because uh, you will see there are a lot of application of this particular reagent now let me start with uh, the structure of the thiazolium cation so you can see this is the structure of the thiazolium cation now your question is how it is prepared so if you consider the thiazolium ring you can see this is the thiazolium ring and if you alkylate it let's say if you so if this r group is let's say methyl group so then if you treat this thiazol thiazol compound this thiazol with uh, methyl iodide so this nitrogen lone pair will attack over this methyl this i minus will go and you will get this thiazolium cation and this thiazolium cation is the active reagent for all the reactions we will which we will discuss uh, onwards in this video so uh, before discussing the reactions let me f uh, first uh, tell you about some features of this particular reagents uh, now you can see this is the normal uh, thiazol ring you can see if you don't have any substituent this is the normal thiazol ring but uh, the reagent which is used for the synthesis you will see that two r groups are there in these two positions now why these two r groups are there so there is a particular reason behind it uh, in the active form of the thiazolium cation what is done is we generally use trithyl amine uh, along with this thiazolium cation which will take a proton from here so this trithyl amine will take a proton from here to produce this zwitter ionic species sorry uh, you can see this is the structure of the zwitter ionic species and you can easily understand why this uh, carbo carbon ion is forming or why this zwitter ionic species is forming this is because uh, this negative charge is stabilized due to the presence of this adjacent positive charge you can see and the, uh, this this phenomenon makes this hydrogen acidic and that's why weak base like trithyl amine can easily deprotonate from here now if you look at this particular step you will see why these groups are important if these positions were unsubstituted if hydrogen atoms were there so then if you if you apply this uh, trithyl amine these two protons are competitor with this hydrogen because they are also acidic so uh, there will be a non selective deprotonation from all these three positions so to stop this thing we uh, we protect these two position with this r group so this is the reason and also there is uh, some kind of steric hindrance which is introduced here now let us come to the application of this reagent so if you uh, remember the very well known reaction the benzoin condensation you can see if you consider benzaldehyde and we know that cyanide catalyzes this reaction to produce this benzoin so this is the structure of benzoin and the same reagent can be done with this thiazolium salt so we represent this thiazolium salt by TS so with this thiazolium salt instead of using this uh, cyanide we can use thiazolium salt to do the same reaction also if you remember the reaction of uh, the the application of umpulang that is let's say you, you want to alkylate at this particular center so if you want to substitute this hydrogen with the r group what we do so we first put this thiol protection with weak acid so we put this thiol protection with weak acid then we treat it with uh, but butyl lithium to produce anion over here the anion is stabilized due to the presence of the sulfur and then we alkylate let's say with methyl iodide we do the alkylation to put methyl over here and then there are several reagents the most well known is mercury HgCl2 water CdC CdCO3 and it will depro uh, deprotect this group so you will get the substitution over here 
Now the same thing we can do by this thiazolium salt. Uh, in the first step we will use thiazolium salt. In the second step, so along with triethylamine of course. And in the second step if we put methyl iodide we will get alkylation over here. So and in both this uh, in both of these reactions this thiazolium cation actually uh, actually help to do the umpolang the reversal of polarity and this is the role of thiazolium cation this is the main role of thiazolium cation and now we will see the mechanism how it does it so if you consider this deuterionic species after the application of triethyl amine and now so this is your aldehyde this may be benzaldehyde or any other aldehyde so this is your uh, zuiterionic thiazolium salt you can see this is r this is r this is r now you can see this negative charge although it is zuiterionic but this negative charge has some nucleophilicity and it can attack over this carbonyl group so that will produce o minus over here here we will have h and here you have this thiazolium ring you can see this positive charge is over here now due to the presence of this positive charge this hydrogen atom again becomes acidic because let's say you have uh, your triethylamine excess in your medium or the O minus of other species other uh, intermediate that can take so any general base can take this proton and you can see this negative charge is stabilized due to the presence of this N plus center. So now this will be OH or it may be O minus. And here you can see this becomes like this. So actually we had R group over here. So this is our R group and this is now neutral. So this is the intermediate which is formed and you can see this is reactive this is a reactive species because if this nitrogen push its lone pair this center become nucleophilic so this center is prone to attack towards a electrophile now the normal reactivity of carbonyl group we know it is a electrophilic center but here you can see uh, after the addition of this thiazolium cation this center becomes a nucleophilic center and this is the umpolang or the reversal of polarity now if you uh, take another molecule of unreacted aldehyde so it will attack over here so let's say it is a benzaldehyde if it was a benzaldehyde it is the benzoin condensation reaction which is happening over here so you will have O minus over here this R and now here you have this uh, OH here you have this thiazolium ring so you can see this is the thiazolium ring again this nitrogen becomes n plus you have these two r groups over here now finally after the formation of this when this oxygen lone pair push you can see this can again break so this can again break and you will have so actually this is ph so this is o minus this is h and this is co so here you will have another ph so this is the pH so this is the benzoin product if this protonation happens it will be OH so this is the benzoin product and you can see this uh, deuterionic species derived from the thiazolium cation is regenerated in this reaction step so it becomes again it becomes the deuterionic species and it is again reactive it can do the same catalysis with another molecule of benzaldehyde and this is how the reaction proceeds so this is a equivalent of cyanide in case of benzoin condensation reaction in case of uh, so this is how the benzoin condensation can be done with thiazolium cation now if you consider the other case of umpolang so if you have normal aldehyde and again you can have the same situation like this so you can see uh, after the addition of the thiazolium deuterionic species you will have this over here so now if you put methyl iodide so it will attack over this methyl iodide and this is how the alkylation will take place here you have methyl here you have the thiazolium part this you have the R group plus this double bond and now when this oxygen lone pair push it will 
clip and you will have this methyl substitution over here so you don't need to put that uh, that uh, thiol protection or an additional step you just do it by using this thiazolium cation with a uh, trithylamine so this is a very important application of the thiazolium salt and so these are the two main applications i hope that this video will help you thank you for watching